Hey kids, uh, Johan here. It is 520 on Saturday, February 20th. So I had my telehealth appointment uh, Thursday. It was a 2.30 appointment. 2.30 came and went and no doctor, which wasn't necessarily a big deal because I expected that late in the day he's probably going to be running behind because that's what doctors do. 2.45 came and went. Okay, well, yeah. 3 o'clock came and went and I'm starting to get a little concerned. Um, so I tried calling the phone numbers that I was given to make sure I'm connected properly because that would be my luck. I won't get to have my surgery because I can't get connected to the stupid telehealth visit, right? So I call the phone numbers and I, I can't get through. A couple times the phone just, the call just disconnects and then there are a couple times that I get to this voicemail where they say that they will call back but to expect that it might not happen until the following business day because call volumes are high at this time. So then 315 comes and goes and I'm pretty much thinking it's over. They close at 4. Business hours are until 4. So I'm thinking if they haven't gotten on by now, they're not going to. Um, so Dawn tries to call. And of course she gets right through to a person immediately because that's just how it is. And they said, okay, I'll get it connected. Just one second, hold on. And sure enough, within two minutes, the resident gets on the phone and by this time it's about 325 so waited for about an hour so we're talking to the resident for i don't know it's probably about 20 minutes um you know she says i've read your record but i just want to ask you some questions and so we chatted, like I said, we chatted for about 20 minutes. And uh, I got a good, good vibe off of her. And then about 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes later, she says, oh, wait, I think I hear Dr. Kushner. Hold on just a second. She goes, I'm going to put you on, put this call on hold. But I'm not going to hang up on you, so don't freak out. Apparently, she knew I freak out easily. So she puts us on hold, and then probably two, three minutes later, Dr. Kushner gets on, and, and we chat for about another 40 minutes. 30, 40 minutes, something like that. Uh, basically, long story short, too late, is that he is going to do surgery on me next Thursday, the 25th yes the 25th uh, he wants to do an EUS which is the uh, endoscopic ultrasound which what will happen there is that he will use the endoscope basically first to get the lay of the land and see what he can see and then he is hoping to put stents into the block ducts in my pancreas and drain all the fluid and the debris and all the goop that's built up in the last however long it's been building up, drain it into my stomach. If he can't do that or if that's not enough, then what he will do is do an ERCP, which is an, a big word 
for saying basically that uh, that he will put stents into my pancreas and then drain the stuff through my colon. Yeah. The problem with this is that it opens me up far more for a greater risk of infection. Because, uh, you know, anytime you include the colon, there's all sorts of risk of infection. And he doesn't want to have to do that. And I appreciate that. But that's, that's the plan. He kind of made it seem like he, even though he doesn't want to, that's probably how it's going to wind up, is that it will have to be the ERCP either in addition to or instead of the EUS. So we'll basically just see what we'll see. He said regardless of what he ends up doing, whether it's one or the other or both operations, procedures, um, he's, he's going to keep me overnight. And I'm perfectly fine with that just simply because we live 100 miles away and, you know, that magic 24 hours post-op, if something were to happen, I'd rather it happen while I'm in their care instead of while I'm at home or worse, somewhere along I-55 on the way home. And I don't want to have to rely on doctors in Springfield. I know that's horrible, but I haven't had great luck with doctors in Springfield about this stuff. So at any rate, uh, that's the plan. We are going to go down Wednesday night after I get off work. And uh, we are going to stay in a Doubletree hotel that's connected to Barnes by a skywalk which makes it really convenient. And then Thursday we'll get up, walk over to the hospital, and um, then I'll spend the night, and if everything goes okay, and looks, I look like I can go home Friday morning, then I'll go home Friday morning. And Dawn, bless her little heart, we were talking after the after the telehealth meeting. She says, oh, if we're staying another night in St. Louis, I can go to Ted Drew's and I can have this restaurant or this restaurant or this one or that one or that one or this one or this one. I'm like, you're such a bitch. But I can't blame her in the least. I'd do the same thing if the roles were reversed, um, especially if they're all on DoorDash. Are you kidding me? Have some of the best restaurants in the world delivered to your hotel room. That's like a no-brainer. Um, it just sucks that I can't partake. But what are you going to do? So, we'll go down Wednesday night. Hopefully come back Friday midday. And hopefully, uh, hopefully... I mean, it's not going to be a magic cure-all. I'm, you know, I'm, I won't be cured. But hopefully, I'll be in a little less chronic pain. And hopefully, I won't have to make so many trips to the emergency room. Now, the dark side of all of this is excuse me while I shut my alarm off the dark side of all of this is that Dr. Kushner informed us that my pancreas is about 70% necrosed I, it's been two days and I'm still processing that I, I don't 
really, I don't know really what to do with that yet. Um, to be fair, a human can survive on about 10% pancreatic function and be just fine. They'll be diabetic the rest of their life, as will I, but, but they'll still function. The, I mean, the thing is, is that I've lost 70% of the function of my pancreas in even dating back to my initial pancreatitis attack, pancreatitis attack, I lost 70% of my pancreatic function in about 16, 17 months. That other 30 is not going to last very long if that rate continues. So I'm really hoping he's going to be able to hit something out of the park on this surgery that he wants to do. Uh, so yeah, I don't... Uh, I don't know what I think right now. I don't know what to feel. Um, I'm glad I have a direction now, a, a, a plan to go forward uh, instead of just conjecture and hope and all of this. I actually have a plan. And in five days, this plan will happen. but almost three quarters of my pancreas is dead. That sucks. That really sucks. But what are you gonna do? It is what it is. I hate that expression, but it really sums it up. Um, we'll just deal with it and Hope for the best. Hopefully I can get in to see my endocrinologist sooner than May 12th, which was when my appointment was booked. And hopefully we can get that all under control a little sooner. But I'm going to keep running. As long as I physically can go out there, I'm going to keep running. I, I have no doubts that I won't get anywhere close to where I was. Not that that was great, but I, I, won't, I won't be in the low 12s. nor dip into the 11s or tease the 10s a little bit. I, that's, it's not going to happen. I accept that I'm not going to stop trying, but I accept that I'm never going to get there. But I'm still going to run. As long as I'm physically able to move my ass outside and run, I'm going to run. Pancreas or no pancreas. I'm going to run. So. I hope to be able to count on. All three of you watching this. To help push me. To get back out there. I need you guys. And I love you guys. And that's it. I'll uh, obviously keep you posted on how things go. Excuse me, I gotta get myself back in frame here. There I am. I'll, I will let you know how things go. And um, probably I will do my next video 
from either the car on the way down to St. Louis or the hotel once we get to St. Louis or whatever. And I'll try to do a little bit in the hospital if I can. I don't know how, whether Barnes is into that kind of thing or not. Um, but I will keep you informed on how things go as best I can. Until then, your juju is extremely helpful. Um, keep sending it. That's all I can say. And, uh, oh, I actually remembered to say it this time. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Like I said, I will at least say hi uh, Wednesday night before the surgery. And hopefully at the hospital too. Um, but we will talk at you again soon. Johan out.